peer pressure. It's freaking stupid. Now, if you live under a rock, let me just quickly explain what peer pressure is. Well, the way I see it is when one person or a group decides to pressure another person or a group into doing something they don't want to do. Most of the time, the people who are trying to peer pressure the other people make fun of the other people for not doing something they don't want to do. That pisses me off to no end. Why make somebody feel bad about themselves because they don't want to do something? That's so stupid. Honestly, if you peer pressure anybody to do anything, I will think you're a piece of shit. Actually, you know what? It depends on what you're trying to get the person to do. Because, for example, if you're just trying to get your buddy to eat a bunch of Sour Patch Kids or something because he doesn't like sour foods, you're not that much of a piece of shit. But if you try to get your friends or anybody to try to do stuff they don't want to do, such as bad stuff like drugs, alcohol, and other things, uh, you're a fucking idiot. Now, why am I talking about peer pressure? Mm, let's just say I had a lot of stupid people in my life. So let's talk about that. That's an overused joke. So there's actually been a few times where my friends at the time decided to try to peer pressure me into doing stupid stuff that I didn't want. I remember this one time. I don't remember the specific age I was because I was young, but me and my friends were just hanging out in the woods near our apartments and uh, my buddy decides to pull out a freaking thing of whiskey what, what the frick are you guys doing did we're gonna drink a thing of whiskey dude yeah adam don't be such a prude dude prude dude really that's <laughs> anyway yeah i don't i honestly i don't want anything to do with this dude come on just take a sip dude yeah dude i'm good i don't want to i mean is there a crime because i don't want to do something you know what is a crime Underage drinking. Luckily, I did have a friend there who totally agreed with me. Let's call him... Thumb. Yeah, I kind of don't want to do this either. Honestly, dids? I didn't think I was with a bunch of didettes. Dids? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm good too. Dude, come on, just do it. No, I said I was good. Dudes, just do it! We said no! Do it! No! And then he opens up the bottle of whiskey and splashes it all over me and Thumb. I have never punched someone so hard and so fast in my entire life. Not only was he trying to pressure us into taking it, but he also started getting mad to the point where he decided to get physical. The way I handled it, I don't recommend it at all. Definitely don't do what I did, because violence only causes more violence. And after I punched him, he decided to start throwing punches back. I don't understand the mindset of people who decide to try to pressure other people into doing stuff that are, you know, illegal. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. That's the end of it. That's what it should be. That reminds me of this other time when a couple of friends decided to invite me to our other friend's house. And, uh, things got annoying really fast. I just remembered what age I was. It was around the age of 11 or 13. Yeah. So my 11 or 13 year old friends decided to text me and say, Hey, come over. And so I did. Actually, maybe I was 14. Why can't I remember the age? So I walk over to their apartment complex and when I got there, it sort of smelled like pure dookie. Kind of like skunk. Because they were smoking weed. Me being an idiot decided to stay because I was bored at home and just wanted to hang out with my friends. Now remember, weed is still illegal to minors and people under the age of 21, so... Yeah, you can't go into the comments and type, Adam, but weed is legal now, blah, 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 yeah, no. I mean, heck, I'm still not old enough. So yeah, we're just sitting there in a smoke-filled house trying to have a good time, but I'm not because I'm with a bunch of idiots. Eventually, one of my friends goes, Hey, Adam, you want to hit? No, I'm good. I'm good. Come on, don't be a prude. Why does everybody say that? That's, is this just going to be a running gag or something? Just take a hit, man. I'm not... I'm good. I'm good. I don't want it. You know, honestly, this is why we don't invite you places. <laughs> Just because I don't want to do illegal things with you guys? No, because you're such a freaking prude. I'm not a prude, I just don't want to do it. Yeah, whatever, yeah, cool, yeah, I'm Adam, I don't want to do things. Because I'm a prude. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. They literally made me feel bad about myself because I didn't want to do something. And that something was illegal. I don't understand that mindset whatsoever. It's kind of the same if Thumb were to walk up to me and go, Hey, eat this candy corn. Nah, I'm good, I'm not hungry. Oh, oh, why? Why? Because you're fat. See, he offered me something, I said no, and then he made me feel horrible until I did it. Stupid. I mean, technically I had a gun to my head, so if I didn't do it, I would have probably died, but not all cases are like that. The way I see it, people who try to pressure people into doing things that are necessarily bad are idiots. They're not good friends, and they're not good people, so I suggest staying away from them. Thumb over there? That's a good friend. Always got your back, BB.
That was weird. Now, if you do fall for the peer pressure, it's kind of on you. Depending on the situation, of course. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad person, but it does mean you need to own up to it and just learn from it. So yeah, now if somebody is trying to peer pressure you into doing something that could potentially get you in big trouble and starts threatening you, I suggest either getting your parents involved, getting a parent involved, or getting the authorities involved. Okay, so yeah, the moral of the story is just don't hang out with idiots. Also say no when you need- uh, I'm, I'm sorry.